here's the thing about Simlinks. These are not the same file. These are absolutely not the same file. I will show you that by g-statting both of them. So as you can see, bar.txt points to foo.txt. This one is a regular file. Foo.txt is a regular file. This is a symbolic link. Just like it was a directory before, this is a different type of file. This is a special type of file. There's only one link. There's only one link. They don't know of each other. Look at this. They have different inode numbers. They have different inodes. They are different files. When you actually go to cat bar.txt, a lot of magic happens there. Your kernel handles this, the file system handles this. All of this gets handled for you, so as the programmer, I don't have to think about this. I can treat it like a regular file, but the kernel has to actually resolve this into, what is it, read link. It has to do this for you, find this name, and then re-look up that name, find it in the directory, get the inode number for it, and go through that whole process here. So, symlinks point to a literal string. Simlinks store like a string, a path name of the file to look up. Your kernel handles resolving all that for you. That's awesome. But it has a literal string, its own file, that points to a different file that may or may not exist. If I rm foo.txt, bar is still there. If I cat bar, no such file directory, even though bar is still there, it exists, but it is a broken symlink. So I think LS might actually show you this. Oh no, it doesn't even, well, maybe uh, GNU LS does. Um, I don't know, it's been a while. But that symlink exists and it points to something called foo.txt. It doesn't care what it points to, it points to a string. It could literally be any sort of like data in here. It points to this and then your operating system will then try and find that file. And if that fails, even though bar.txt exists, you get no such file directory because it falls through to the underlying file there.